Namaste. Yoga for good health. All the exercises, all the asanas, all the poses are very easy, but we are going to do in a moving fashion so you feel free, you feel more flexible, more supple, and the energy inside your body, it moves and, and it, you feel more calm after the practice. Um, we are also going to pause a little bit in few poses, but on those poses we're going to focus on breathing and centering and connecting and resting. Um, all the poses are easy and safe. Um, in case you don't like one or two poses or your body doesn't like, give a pause or let them go and go have a little drink and then just join me back again. Okay, so let's start with the good mood. Hmm. Now, I want you to face me so that you can see me. I will roam around, turn around to show you the technique if, if I need to, okay? So, um, hands are staying shoulder width apart, feet are staying knee width apart, oh, sorry, hip width apart. Um, um, the mistakes are very important. Pull the shoulders, neck long and, and stretch your spine long. Now just breathe and look up, chest up. Bring a good smile on your face and a breathe out curl. Inhale, looking up, chest up. And exhale, we're curling the back. Breathe in, looking up, chest up, feeling good energy. Freeing the spine, breathe out. And freeing the front body, back body. Exhale. So focus, when we're looking up, we're stretching the front of the neck and we're stretching the thoracic. We're not dropping our lower back too much. And as we're curling, we're lowering, oh sorry, we're curling more from the lower back, from the tailbone, from the sacrum, from the lower back, and less from the thoracic. And then just drop your head down to stretch. Okay, two more. Inhale. And exhale, curl. Last one. And exhale. Good. Okay, so look forward this time. And now, knees are wide, and let's sit back. Good. Okay, let me adjust. So sit, and going forward, and let us reach forward. So I want you to sort of feel like you're still lifting, um, <laughs> you're still lifting your hip, your tailbone up. You're still looking forward, not dropping your head down, and you're pushing your chest forward. Let's inhale, exhale. And just two more breaths. Now it's a great stretch to open a chest, um, and a good stretch for aligning the hips, aligning the back, a good stretch for the back too. Okay, back and all four. Good. Okay, bring the knees hip width apart and bring your right arm down first. So slightly forward from you, so like to watch your knee, and then your left hand over. Now, still keeping a tailbone up, you're looking forward, and we're going back. And again, stretching our lats, stretching our shoulders and the chest. Um, see, doing working all day or sitting in front of computer. Um, driving the cars and these days uh, phones. Um, we always looking down um, the chest, shoulders, um, these muscles get tired and that's why we have a rounded shoulder. So it's a really good pose um, to open up the posture. Breathe deep into the chest, into the lungs. I feel we're strengthening our respiratory, strengthening, strengthening uh, our lungs. Okay, so come back. Now, just holding here and just do the other arm now. So just right arm over this time. Very good. Okay, so look forward, chest up, and feel as we, we're going back, we're lifting the tailbone up as well. So concave back. It feels really good. 
Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. This last one. And I just come back now. Very good. Okay. Now, as I said, all it's overall um, body stretch. Good. Okay. So bring the right arm up on the side here and bring the left arm slightly out here. So we're going to do the chest stretch. Good. Now I want you to slowly turn and not lowering down too much towards the floor. It's about turning because sometimes people go just like this. This is not right. It's about creating a lengthening feel. Those fingertips are going away from you and I'm staying strong and firm. And then you're turning and twisting and feel that stretch coming onto your bicep and onto your chest. Now let's turn your head onto your left. And let's focus breathing in and out deep. Uh, deep. Again. One more deep breath. And then just come back. And right hand back. And then left arm out. Now let's just turn now. And twist again a bit more. And looking on to the right. Breathing in, breathing out deep. Feel really lengthening, it's not just on the biceps, it's even the, the forearm, your fingers, your shoulder and your chest. It's just helping you stay there for a little bit more. It is helping opening our upper body, opening up a chest, opening up a shoulder. Okay, let's just come back now. Very good. Nice. Okay, so back on all four now. Pull the shoulder, neck long, spines along and feel we're keeping our tummy in, so keeping our core engaged. Now, lift the right arm and turning. So threading the needle. And as the breathe up this time, we're going slowly turning all the way to the left. Okay, so four more times. We're breathing in, going up. And breathe out, we're going down slowly. Inhale. So just reach up and open your chest keep twisting and breathe out and go down so every time try to add a bit more inhale and that's such a good exercise for a good uh, spinal rotation we we're also working on our, our obliques exhale we're turning last one Okay, so let's just keep turning, twisting this time. Just rest the shoulder and rest the hip. Just be very careful with your neck. So just stretch all the way. And I just lift the left arm up in the air now. Very good. So I want you to twist and turn all the way. And I slowly bring that arm towards me. So you sort of feel we're trying to touch the hands. So just keep reaching towards me. You will feel the stretch on your neck, on your trapezius, and your mid-thoracic, your thoracic. Keep pulling your tummy, and let's just start looking up. So you sort of turning head up towards your left side, and keep turning that shoulder. Now three more deep breaths. All through your nose. Last one. Okay, now just slide that hand back, push back, hand up. Now let's do the other side with a good smile, good energy, feeling free, feeling comfortable and feeling strong. So let's just lift the left arm up strongly, hold it there and exhale, we're turning. Inhale. I think we're matching the speed. Breathe in up. And breathe up. But if I get involved talking too much, uh, you keep doing your exercise. <laughs> because I like chatting sometimes. Exhale. Two more. And I lost count sometimes. But it doesn't matter. Uh, we don't have to be very 
strong on account. Okay, pull the tummy. Go turn a bit more. Keep going. And let just lift your right arm up. Keep twisting, keep pulling your tummy. And let just reach your arm above your head. Straight arm. And let just keep twisting and turning. And you're looking up towards the ceiling. Breathe. Deep breathing in and breathing out. Inhale deep. Inhale deep. One more. Okay, so let's just bring that hand and up. Excellent. Beautiful. Okay, so from here, I want you to now turn your hands like this. So your fingertips facing towards you. Um, so not overdoing it if your arms or if your forearms or your wrist are hurting just go slow so look I'm opening all my fingers so to feel like you're opening up all your fingers and push your hands down strongly arms are staying straight pull the shoulder and I pull the tummy and just go back slowly keeping your hand or heel of your hands are down and back now remember so I'm showing you this way you see we're not overdoing it the hands are not going up it's no use okay the hands are staying down and we're going down keeping the the heel of hand down on the floor back up again and go again exhale and up so just last one now stay this time so as far as you can and breathe through the stretch and back up now let's bend the elbows slightly this time very good as far as you can feeling but just rock back and rock forward good not too much you just respect the tightness and stiffness good and just last one and let's just sit down good and now let's just stretch good so stretching your hands and grabbing the fingers and feel you pulling your elbow and your fingers away from each other so just giving a little traction to the wrist let's do the other side deep breathing feeling good everything's in a control good and we're getting into a movement now it's feeling good always at the start it feels like ah uh, really but then when we start doing we feel really good okay so let's just back on the hands um, back on the business now the right hand here and I just place that hand here keep that arm straight and just go slightly back to sort of keeping now we're doing with the one hand so that you can actually share weight so not too much here okay so slowly going back and forward so see my arms are straight uh, to me it looks straight I'm not sure about you so try to keep it straight so just only go as far as you can comfortably beautiful okay let's rest now give a rest and with this one now I want you to use your fingers like this so sort of digging the fingers or the nails just strengthen all your fingers here and we stretch with this one good straight good so breathe out that's beautiful breathe in and back again breathe out might be one tight than another but just respect that type side it's just lots of typing writing assignments uh, maybe driving the car um, the phones these days good so keep strengthening the fingers this way and keep opening the wrist there good okay rest and let's do the left but what we're doing is here we're loading and taking one hand off and taking the other hand off good now not letting digit go like this the fingers are like this up and down so just use a little bit of weight not too much yeah like an animal yeah good two more good beautiful okay now feet and knees staying hip width apart and I sit back onto your heel and the arms are forward to just to give a little rest child pose
You stay there, keep breathing. Balasana. Balasana. Like a resting like a child. I remember I used to sleep um, on this position when I was a little kid. I still love this stretch. Okay, so they just come up on all four. Um, you still facing me. I'll just show you from the side. Coming on all four now. And our hands are shoulder width apart. Taking the right leg back. And then just uh, placing the ball of the foot. Opening up all the toes. Extending the legs. And pushing the heel back to stretch the calf. Okay, so let's focus again. Breathing in and breathing out deep. Inhale. Two more breaths. One more. Feel good stretch on your calf. And let's rest. Good. Okay, let's switch. Okay, push the heel back. And feel that nice good stretch on your calf. Inhale deep. Inhale deep. Keep going. Okay, let's rest now. And I want you to bring the right leg back again. Same. Feel the stretch. And this time, we're going up. So like a sprinter um, position. So it's just uh, the runners ready to start the run. So open and spread all the toes. Keep the, le keep the right leg straight. Yep. And I try to lower the heel down. Good. You see, don't do this. Just keep this the heel as far as you can and just hold. And we're pushing the chest down to the thighs, holding the leg. Okay. Then we're ready. We're coming back down. Nice. Okay. So this time, taking the left foot back. Good. Keeping a both hip aligned, pulling the shoulder, looking slightly forward, pulling the tummy, and let just go up. You can relax the head. And it's really good relaxation and also refueling for the brain. So staying up like this, just sort of giving a little traction to the neck. Also getting blood flow towards our brain. You focus, breathing in, breathing out deep. Just two more deep breaths. Last one. So let's bring the right leg back as well. So feet are staying hip width apart. Now I want you to stay here and let just. Bend the right leg first to keep the left leg straight. And let's just bend the left leg and make your right leg straight. So stretching a calf. Sort of preparing. Beautiful. A few more. Let's just push both heels down for a little while. And I just feel we're lifting a tailbone up higher, pushing the chest towards the thighs. Arms are staying strong and head relaxed. So just two deep breaths. And now, knees are down. And I sit back again on a child pose. And the arms are back. Rest the head down completely. We're giving our, we're giving our arms 
We're giving the arms, giving the wrist and shoulders a little rest when we're here. Going back on all four again, walk in front of your mat. Good. Now, hands are shoulder width apart, and I just slightly turn those shoulders back away from your ears. Now, um, activate your shoulder blades. Mm, good. Okay. So legs are staying, legs are staying. We staying on on all four. Now from here, flex your feet, keeping the legs to bend, and and now going back. So the focus here is to stretch the soleus. The legs are staying bent and you're trying to lower your heels down. Good. And also I want you to sort of feel like you're lifting the tailbone up and lifting, um, lifting and pointing that hip bone up. Arms are straight, strong and push your chest down towards your thighs and rest the head. Okay. So let's just slowly extend the legs. Good. And it's okay your heels are slightly coming up. It's all fine. Just two more deep breaths. Last one. Let's just lower your knees down. Good. Now, not going back, but just resting onto a frog. So, um, hold on, let me set this. Good, okay. So, uh, our knees and ankles are aligned, feet are resting outside, and we're lowering the elbows down. So, just holding on to a stretch. Uh, I feel like from the knee and hip is at 90 degree too, so not going back too much and not forward. Now stretching our groin, our adductors. Now try to keep a little bit hold onto onto your muscles, but then allow uh, allow that tension and tightness and disappear from your hips. And breathing in and breathe out. Breathe in deep. It's two more. Last one. Good. So from here, and you just slowly first push up yourself, keep control, and bring your knees back. Yeah. So knees, feet again, hip width apart, sit on again on a child stretch, arms are back. Or you can keep your arms forward and rest there. Another few breaths, just staying strong. It's a, it's a very quick, uh, small workout. But again, as I said, it's a really good, really good exercise. Let's just come up on all fours. So you facing me, um, I'm facing this way. So just keep following. We're going to do a two, um, two types of salutations, but they're all a mini salute. Very easy to follow. Just keep following. Good. All right. So let's just feet, knees, stand hip width apart. Sit back onto here. Mm. And sorry for my shirt if I. So to breathing out, we're going down. Breathing up on all four. And from here, elbow staying close, we're going down onto an eight-fold touch. Exhale. Sliding forward. Pointing our feet, pressing the pubic bone down, squeezing the buttocks. And doing the cobra. Lengthening from our abs and the chest, the front body. And here, pushing back up. So it was inhale. And exhale, we're sitting back again. 
So we're going to do four more. So inhale up. Exhale slowly down. And forward. Inhale, cobra. Elbow standing. And keep your hips down. Squeeze your buttocks and push the pubic bone down. Lengthen those legs. And up. Exhale and back. Back on all four. Inhale up. Exhale and back. Back on all four. Breathe. Slide. Up. Inhale up. Exhale. Slide. Inhale. Push back up. Exhale. Back again. Slowly down. Slide forward. Roll the shoulders. Squeeze your shoulder blades. And then lengthen those abs. Pull the tummy. Up. Again. Forward. Slide. Inhale. Back. Just two more now. Up. Breathe out. Slide. Inhale. And back. Exhale. So, on all four as you inhale. Eightfold touch. So the eightfold is chin, chest, knees, feet, hands. Go forward. And back. Let's rest. So give yourself a little break. We're almost there. You're doing such a good job. So this is a mini salute type one. Um, very easy practice. If you don't want to do the full, you can do this. You keep breathing, keep listening. Um, now the number two is a little bit harder, but I'm, um, I'm very much sure positive you can do this. And you know, um, I had in my mind, in my head, I was just going to do five and five. Well, we did almost 10 and we did really well. Okay, now let's look forward towards me. We're staying down. Now this time, looking forward, let's just touch the elbows and just slowly coming forward. Keep the tummy, keep the core engaged. Going down as exhale. Up, cobra. And push back. Sit back. Good. Now just slowly coming forward. Lengthen those feet. Lengthen those legs. Push the pubic bone down. Pull the tummy. And feel really opening your chest. Reaching towards me. And up. Using those arms strongly. Exhale and back. Inhale, prepare. Exhale. Lengthen those legs. Push the pubic bone down. Lengthen those abs now. Push strongly using your triceps, your chest. Exhale. Inhale, we prepare. Exhale. Elbows are down. Up. That's very good. Inhale. Exhale. Slowly. Yep. Inhale. And just push back. Exhale. 
just two more push back exhale just last one go forward up push back exhale and down rest good so I want you to turn the knees out like this good beautiful okay so let's rest the hands and rest the head on one side just let the whole body relax you rest close your eyes and now make yourself make yourself calm make yourself comfortable as I said earlier like a baby and just let go all the fear all the stress all the tension let go all that struggle all the fight imagine like as the energy is flowing freely in the body the mind and the breath is free too inhale deep and exhale inhale and exhale inhale and exhale just gentle smile on your face good let's lift the head and turn the head onto other side to stretch other side as well staying calm and relaxed feeling happy feeling comfortable um, exercising having a, a little bit of sun exposure fresh air good healthy food and a sound sleep all these things are very important to stay healthy and I'm just coming back on all four and I'm just sitting on a thunderbolt or a vajras in a position good I'm just breathing in slowly breathing out And breathing in slowly and breathing out just a gentle smile on your face we're just almost finished deep breathing and so let's finish with om just three om uh, if you don't feel like chanting you can just listen Namaste. I'll see you next time.